Welcome to the Labster Microscopy Lab, where students investigate intestinal malabsorption syndrome using three different microscopy techniques. Students are presented with a research project investigating a syndrome similar to celiac disease. Guided by a researcher, they will examine chicken intestinal sections to get a better understanding of the condition. Accessing the virtual lab, students learn how to operate a light microscope and understand the mechanisms behind it. They are presented with chicken intestinal slides that have been stained with aniline, orange G, and fuchsin. Using the five power magnification, students identify the villus and then proceed with higher magnifications to identify smooth muscle, extracellular tissue, epithelial cells, goblet cells, and the nuclei. In order to visualize objects that are too small to see under the light microscope, students use an electron microscope. In this lab, students examine a chicken intestine slide that is specially prepared for this type of microscopy. They can zoom in and out and observe different cellular structures, for example, the microvilli, mitochondria, and the junctions between cells. Immersive 3D animations and quiz questions provide thorough content about the different microscopy techniques, celiac disease, and intestinal inflammation to ensure student understanding. Students also learn about fluorescence staining techniques and how they can be used to visualize specific structures. For example, by staining the DNA with DAPI, students can easily identify a cell's nucleus. In this part of the lab, students will examine a chicken intestine sample that is infected with a retrovirus. They observe how the virus infects the lymphocytes and how it inhibits inflammation. The retrovirus can be further developed as medicine for celiac disease. Going through the microscopy lab, students learn about the advantages and disadvantages of different microscopy techniques. Besides the core lab, Labster provides a full theory section which provides the student with relevant background information when needed. Also with the media player function, students will be able to see the animations, graphs and collected data several times during the lab and at a later time for exam preparation.